Hello, Fake Who Reviews, Who Reviews. Who Reviews. And I even the Flash P O W. And then this the Godspeed Civil War is the second war theme again going into people's uh, homes in Central City. And um, Barry has another dream of Nora saying some it's going wrong the future and the infecting their family or something. Um then uh, Diggle shows up with uh, a device that Sitko made that was a trap at uh, 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 God speed, like I was freezing time. Um, yeah, it does work, and they put the, the God speed, they got into uh, the medium prison thing. And this one can really talk. And it uh, turns out the Gospies are after the uh, original uh, uh, person that was Gospied. Uh, I forget the name for a minute there. Mm -hmm. And apparently, whoever gets him gets, or get, I guess, during the war. And the Gospies got one inspired to join him, but when he says he's gonna. Kill the person they're after. Yeah, Barry isn't worried about killing and Godspeed does escape and destroys the time freeze device. And Barry just blows up around Chester since he's just uh, venting all his worry in that. Uh, thanks to a talk from Diggle. Uh, Barry decides to at least try to go to uh, 20.9. But apparently, uh, that timeline is blocked by Godspeed, and Barry gets plucked out of there by uh, Deegan. And saying that they're just uh, feeding off uh, this B Force, like uh, cockroaches and that. And so Deegan is protecting. Iris, since he's like phasing out of time at some point. So, yeah. And there's this mini plot with Allegra and Ultraviolet. Yeah, I don't know if that's actually needed. Like, I know where uh, the storyline started the three or two episodes ago. But uh, I like I don't know right now, and I kind of predicted that new like Ultraviolet was uh, gonna die when he's gonna take down there uh, some uh, stranglers from uh, Black Hole by herself. And I was wondering if the like, was gonna take it uh, Ultraviolet now, and um, I don't know. I just, I just wonder what's gonna happen next with them. And with John Christian Kramer, turns out that uh, Christian's old partner Adam was the one that uh, destroyed the car. And they do trap him, and he says something interesting when uh, Christian tells him that he killed about 12 members of her team. And he's just saying that uh, Christian Kramer's dead. And he's a little crazy. He thinks that. Uh, I don't know if he, he just thinks he's immortal or that yes, he does have a meta power that makes him immortal. And he says he's doing some bad so he can do some good by getting the money he makes to uh, the uh, kids uh, in their uh, in, the, in their on, on their home since they don't have to grow up like they did. And Kramer really does kill him or Shoot him, but Joe actually talks her down, so... Mm. Um, anyway, uh... Uh, Diggle didn't get these, uh... Headaches, but it seems to be a... Part of the repercussions of, uh... Not accepting the Green Lantern ring. So, hmm. And he doesn't mention that... The Head Doctor's... 
you saw back in uh, Gotham. So this is after uh, the Batwoman episode. And apparently he's going to be uh, in an episode of uh, Superman and Lois. So, mm. I think that might, might be delayed since I didn't see a promo for next year's one. So, I will see. Anyway, uh, Diggles still uh, suits up as a spare and helping uh, Lucille and Color Frost uh, take down or at least uh, trying to find the guy that the, the Godspeeds are after. And they go to a building that's supposed to be the place where Godspeed that works in, in 2049. But there's any anything, and they find this guy with amnesia. And later on, uh, they uh, actually do something to get a bit of the memory back. And there they found a the guy that uh, the Godspeeds are looking for. Yeah. And uh, Barry is just singing this words again, words, and you see us trying to say it's okay to be angry and scared, but. You still have uh, to keep the uh, hope alive. And when uh, she leaves, uh, Barry gets a visit from uh, uh, SS. Yeah, and also by impulse. I say Barry was surpri surprised about that. And even though it's only f a few minutes, I think the guy playing impulse is pretty good. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. And I think that's how it's great. I can grant Goodson some great uh, acting in this. Is that when uh, he just uh, being worried about uh, Nora and uh, uh, and Iris and like kind of like a Chester uh, fanboy and over a uh, Diggle. It's it's good. And uh, what else? Uh, as I said, it's up to Allegra. I don't think that's any need to be put into this episode, but I guess maybe put in somewhere. And uh, I, I do kind of like get uh, the live action uh, costume for Impulse. Looks like does look like some from uh, straight out of the, of the uh, Young Justice comic books or whatever. It does say uh, great. And, uh. Well, next week will be the 150th episode, and apparently, uh, Jay Garrett is a uh, comeback. The whole, uh, Flat Family f uh, Festival. And uh, does I wonder if they're gonna do more with the, the Godspeed storyline in this, or are they just gonna focus on the Flash family? But I will see. And uh, I just wonder if the reason that Nora and Bart are in the uh, the twenty twenty one, or is it still twenty twenty? Mm. Oh. And, uh, I also wonder what the deal is with Iris' face now, time is due her pregnancy, or the fact that she still has a bit of speed force uh, in her. I heard that the speech to Iris is that uh, come back, but I uh, don't know. And yeah, I don't remember. The the guy that the uh the name the guy that the Godspeed are after but I'll try to remember uh, for uh, next week. So uh done it. I'll see you guys.